We'll move on now to that water crisis in Flint, Michigan, where dozens of National Guardsmen are on the ground this morning and new lawsuits set to be filed this afternoon. ABC's Alex Perez has the latest. This morning, the Flint water scandal erupting. Protesters rallying outside Michigan Governor Rick Snyder's home. Class action lawsuits expected to be filed today against city and state officials over the ongoing water crisis. Newly revealed emails show when officials switched the Flint water source from Lake Huron to the Flint River to save money, they waited nearly five months to warn the public of the toxic levels of lead created by the switch. My baby and I, we breaking out and itching from bathing in the water. I don't like the idea my baby can't drink. The state attorney general now investigating why it took the governor and other officials so long to respond. Every day. President Obama declaring a federal emergency here, National Guard troops pouring into Flint to pass out water and filters. Even celebrities now trying to help residents share teaming up with a company to donate more than 180,000 bottles of water, tweeting maybe fellow artists will help Flint. And one of the city's most famed sons, filmmaker Michael Moore, calling for the governor of Michigan to be arrested. We are all angry. This was purposely done. They knew it was poison. They knew it was toxic. The system has been switched back to Lake Huron water, but the river damaged the pipe system so badly, water is still not safe to drink. And officials here say it could be months before the water is safe to drink. The governor is expected to tackle this tonight in his State of the State address. Robin? Looking forward to that. All right, Alex, thank you.